Mother Agri Biotech Laboratories, India Private Limited. Green Revolution is the best solution for pollution. Mother Agri Biotech believes the same adage strongly, keeping in view that trees provide food, shelter, medicine, fuel, and wood. Our culture promotes the idea of producing, planting, protecting, and donating trees to the society. Global warming is a serious threat. To address the same, Mother Biotech has established an ultra-modern tissue culture laboratory producing nine different teak clones. And we are proud to say that we have the world's exclusive high-yielding tissue culture teak plant production unit in Bangalore. Due to fast growth combined with high returns, our product has very good demand in the market. Our mission is to provide farmers across the globe in general and Indian farmers in particular with the best disease-resistant, healthy and high-yielding tissue-cultured teak plants to elevate their economic returns. Vision to prevent endangerment of teak plants, reduce global warming by encouraging plantation of tissue-cultured teak plants against stumps. Why invest in forestry? Environmentally conscious, sustainable forestry gives a unique opportunity to do something healthy for the planet whilst accruing a strong capital gain. Long-term stable investment with sustained growth periods and minimal demand supply fluctuations. Low entry levels. Forest investments require little capital compared to real estate and being in a stable, unleveraged market offer more dependable, less volatile returns. Compounded value rises with maturity. As trees grow, their marketable timber volume increases at an increasing rate, as does the wood's value and grade. Little affected by macroeconomics. Irrespective of which government is in power or global currency fluctuations, inflation and interest rates, the long-term factor of forestry and its fundamental applications produce a more constant growth rate. For the reasons above, forestry's stability makes it the perfect portfolio hedge against more volatile markets. With a range of harvest dates, forestry investments have great exit strategy flexibility. If the price were to fall one year, wait another year or two whilst your asset continues to physically grow. Potential tax advantages, depending on project location and structure. Demand and supply. Global consumption of tropical hardwoods has multiplied nearly 25 times in the last four decades. Around 40 million acres of tropical forest are being destroyed each year and not being replaced. Scope of plantation. Our scope of plantation extends from India, China, Malaysia and Thailand in Asia to Brazil and Mexico in American continent and some countries of Africa. Why tissue culture technology? Top conventional methods of asexual propagation, vegetative propagation like grafting, budding, layering etc. for many plants and trees are often too slow or fail completely. Micro-vegetative propagation using tissue culture allows much greater control and manipulation of the development of tissues within the culture tube than conventional methods. Among timbers, teak holds the place which diamond maintains among precious stones and gold among metals. Teak wood plays a major role in the timber industry. 
It is in high demand as compared to other wood, both in the domestic and international markets. India dominates global teakwood consumption. Due to its assured and high economical returns, even when cultivated in dry land, Government of India is encouraging teak plantations massively through various subsidized schemes. The rising demand and shortage of supply resulted in sharp rise of teak log price. This huge demand can be fulfilled only by encouraging teak plantation. Opting for tissue culture teak plantation will give 100% yield in short span of 8 years, which will result in good economical returns to the farmers as compared to teak stumps, which will take longer time for yield. Qualities of tissue culture teak Fast growth, disease-free, same age plants, uniform height and girth. Plantations can be done throughout the year. Yield starts from 8th year. Stages in tissue culture Selection of mother plant is carefully done. Next we collect a set of suitable X plants. Then the media preparation will be done, followed by inoculation and incubation. The next stage is rooting, followed by primary and secondary gardening. Advantages of tissue culture teak. Shoot grows in continuation with a root in tissue culture teak, whereas in stump teak, shoot grows to one side of the root. Cultivation method Temperature and planting time Teak is a tropical plant which can be grown in the regions having a temperature between 18 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. Soil Teak can be grown in red soil or deep black loamy soil. Usually soil with 5.8 to 7.5 pH is suitable for teak cultivation. Alignment of teak sapling. Distance between sapling can be 10 feet by 10 feet. 440 plants can be planted in one acre. Planting. Plowing has to be done one time for the entire field of plantation and pits are made. Mud taken from the pit should be mixed with dry cow dung or vermin compost which would be used as manure to be filled in the pits. Once the pits are ready, the plant saplings are removed from the poly bag without damaging the roots of the saplings and planted in the middle of the pit. Check that there are no cracks in the soil. The root of the sapling should be covered with mud in a pyramid shape. While planting, irrespective of the height of the plant, only 4 inches should be above the ground and the rest of the plant should be underground. Water Management After plantation, the sapling should be watered immediately. Drip irrigation is best suited for teak plants as the plants get sufficient water and absorb nutrients. Plantation will be free of weeds, so plants grow healthy and nourished. First one month, plants should be supplied with sufficient water. From second month to fifth month, water the plants twice a week. From sixth to eleventh onwards, water the plants once in every six days. From sixth to eleventh month onwards, water the plants once in every six days. Nutrition Management Nutrition management is important in teak plantation. It is directly dependent on soil nutrients in developmental stages. Weed Control Weed control is really important in teak plantation so that plants get more nutrition and yield more. Methodology other important steps in teak plantation are First year, raise the beds to avoid plants falling due to wind. First, deep interplowing has to be done in a month of July before the onset of monsoon. After deep interplowing, soil work has to be done immediately for 1.5 feet diameter. 
plant has to be stabilized by packing it with mud so that one third part of the total plant is exposed above the ground. Upturning of the soil is to be done in the month of September. Application of the fertilizer is to be done in the end of September with a mixture DAP 10 grams, urea 5 grams and vermin compost of 3 kgs per plant. Second deep interplowing has to be done in the end of October. Upturning of the soil has to be done in the month of March to protect the plants during summer. Second and third year, deep interplowing has to be done. Fertilizers per plant in second year, DAP 20 grams, urea 50 grams and vermin compost 10 kgs. Fertilizers per plant in third year, DAP 50 grams, urea 25 grams and vermin compost 10 kgs. Fourth, fifth and sixth year, deep interplowing has to be made in the month of October. Upturning of the soil has to be done in the month of March to protect the plants during summer. Seventh to seventeenth year, only deep interplowing has to be done in the month of September. Cutting and yield. Tissue cultured teak starts to yield from 8th year to 17th year. Proper cultivation of MBT teak variety will have high yield. You can see the glimpse of global analysis report of teak versus traditional investments. 8th year, the yield wood volume would be CFT 25 per tree. 12th year, the yield wood volume would be CFT 75 per tree. 18th year, the yield wood volume would be CFT 150 per tree. According to the analysis, these tissue culture teak trees yield appreciated returns after 15 years. Our other products, root promoter. Root regulators induce the growth of roots for all varieties of root cutting. We have separate regulator for various types of plants like flowering, woody, indoor, fruit, foliage, rare, endangered species, avenue and ornamental etc. After administering the regulator as per instructions, cuttings start producing the roots within 8 to 40 days based on the type of plant. These regulators give more than 95% results. Shoot Growth Regulator Shoot Growth Regulator induces the growth of the shoot and aids in increasing the internodal space and girth of the plant. After administering the regulator as per instructions, you can see visible results within weekdays. This regulator gives 95 to 100% results. Bud Inducer This regulator aids in producing buds for all types of plants. After administering the regulator as per instructions, you can see visible results within weekdays. This regulator gives 80 to 90% results. This regulator aids in producing buds for all types of plants. After administering the regulator as per instructions, you can see visible results within weak days. This regulator gives 80 to 90% results. Flower Inducer this regulator induces the growth of flowers within seven days of foliar spray after administering the regulator as per instructions. This regulator gives 80 to 90% result. This regulator controls all pests. As per the instructions, the regulator has to be administered as foliar spray. Pests will be killed and plants start growing healthy again. This regulator gives up to 85% results. Trips Controller This regulator controls trips. As per instructions, the regulator has to be administered as foliar spray. Trips will be controlled within two days. This regulator gives up to 85% results. Technical Profile of Mr. Balakrishna Muttukuri 
With an immense knowledge and experience in tissue culture and teak plants, Mr. Balakrishna Muttukuri initiated this organization with zeal of producing world-class tissue culture teak plants. In his 16 years of research in tissue, teak and clonal propagation, he has invented various plant hormone combinations for overall plant development. His expertise in propagation and standardization of tissue culture protocols for medicinal plants. His research work on 250 species of plants has resulted in the production of species-specific hormones for rooting, flower-inducing, shoot growth promotion, bud induction, stem rot inhibition, and overall development of plants with 85-90% to positive results. To his credit, he has produced five best clones of teak and he was deployed as a scientific consultant for Andhra Pradesh Forest Department for plantations of 10 lakh tissue cultured plants with commercial production of 250 plant species. Also, he was in charge scientist for Netherlands Biotechnology Program representing government of Andhra Pradesh. His persona of knowledge share has made him publish micropropagation techniques for multi-propagation of trees from lab to farmer field in 2005. He is a guide for many budding biotechnology graduates and postgraduates of various universities and prestigious institutions across the globe. We have customers spread all across India, over 10 lakh plants. Our plantations are located in Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra, Meghalaya, Gujarat, Kerala, New Delhi, Odisha, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Bihar, Assam and abroad in Tanzania, Uganda, Cambodia. Visitors our prestigious organization has been glorified by the visits of P. Thadipati, Uganda Prince, Dr. Madhu, Dr. Ramdas, Kelvin, and Uganda Queen. Visitors' Feedback We have received a well-acknowledged feedback from most of our clients and visitors. Please visit our website motherbiotech.in to have a look at our feedback. Vriksho Rakshati Rakshitaha Plant more trees today and they will take care of you in future. Mother Agri Biotech Laboratories India Private Limited 196 Bar 2 Gullarahatti Magadi Main Road near Nice Road Bangalore 560091